Hey guys, so I'm just on a park in this bench. Uh, another beautiful park here in South Florida. Take a look there. And um, what I want to share in this video is the, the journey of having a YouTube channel. You know, when I first made, uh, when I first started my channel in July of 2017, um, after about three days of having it, I uploaded a video how discouraging it was because I would only get like three, four views uh, on a video and I had only you know a couple subscribers and most of those people I knew. Uh, so what are my thoughts now, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, seven, eight months into my YouTube journey? You know, my thoughts are it can be mentally painful to have a YouTube channel because you open up your life to others, which means you open up yourself to criticism from others and you open up yourself to self-criticism, right? So you upload a video, you're going to criticize and analyze yourself, you're gonna replay what you said and you're gonna be embarrassed and you're gonna, you're gonna mentally feel pain from sharing your life. And um, for many people that may not be worth it I mean even for me I reflect sometimes on that because even though I'm blessed where I am I would say by the grace of God pretty mentally strong when I'm going through bad times uh, I say oh I don't want to share you know I want to take all these videos down because uh, it's just mentally painful to share your life with others and um, of course also you know you you're gonna get criticized I don't care if you do a YouTube channel about being a nomad or if you do a YouTube channel about planting flowers you're always going to have the 90 10 rule meaning 90 percent of people will be positive and constructive and the other 10 percent of people would just be negative and nasty no matter how nice you are so you know if someone gives you nine nice compliments but one mean one if someone says you're a fucking asshole go fuck yourself that's the comment at night that you will think about versus the other nine. Uh, so, you know, you have to be mentally ready for that. And, um, you know, that's why, too, I reflect on the scriptures that they say, a single person can do more for the Lord. I say that because if I was married with children and with a lot of obligations, I wouldn't be doing videos. Why? Because I wouldn't have the capacity to open up and to share myself with anyone else. And so I do believe for some people being single, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, is a calling because you're allowed to, or and you're not allowed, but you have the capacity to share your life because you can take the hits. You have the capacity to take the hits. When you're taking hits all day, you know, from arguing with your spouse or dealing with your kids, I mean, you, you can only take so much. So the single person has a little bit more extra strength because they're not getting beat up by other things that they can handle it. Um, you know, financially, it's not worth it uh, for most people. Uh, for 90% of the people, financially, it is not worth it to have a YouTube channel. Uh, I was only monetized for a couple months. I'm sure I'll probably be remonetized, maybe eventually. But even that only made a, a few hundred dollars. Uh, over the course of the 700 videos I've done going live every night, you know, I'll probably make 50 cents an hour, not even that. Um, so you have to be mindful of that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing YouTube if you were looking for financial, uh, you know, some type of financial, but it's not going to come from that, you know. Um, th there's two type of channels. There's one is people create channels as a media outlet, meaning their channel has a brand and they want to sell you the brand, they want to sell you the lifestyle, they want to emotionally attach to you and you know you you want to either pay for that service or you want to keep tuning in for that service because it's it's a TV show and you enjoy watching it. and the other type of channel is a just a pure documentary uh, someone just sharing their life it's a vlog it's you know someone uploads videos shares their perspective shares their experiences um, and obviously that could be used too in the same manner but those are the two different aspects of a YouTube channel. So, you know, you'd have to decide which one are you. Are you going to try to create a brand, a style, uh, or are you just going to upload videos based on your own life and documenting it? A lot of people say they're just documenting their life, but, you know, everyone wants 
to grow their channel and to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as people are being direct and honest and not manipulating their viewers um, and taxing their viewers um, because, you know, it's the same thing as the church game. Uh, you know, pastors tax sometimes the congregation when the congregation is living paycheck to paycheck and uh, it's just not healthy. And a lot of times, especially in the nomad community, I see you know, nomads taxing, whether it's through Patreon or Amazon or anything else, taxing the people that are already struggling that want to be a nomad and they're paying for someone else to be a nomad. So, yeah, to each its own. Um, but this, this is part of the YouTube journey. And this is what, something you're going to have to ask yourself. Uh, is it worth it for most people? No. Is living out of your car? Uh, logical for most people, no. Again, so if, if you were looking to live out of your car, van or RV, if you were looking to have a YouTube channel, there's nothing wrong with that. I do it. But what I'm trying to tell you is you have to remember that you're in a small, there's a smaller percentage of people that actually can do it long term because it's not a sustainable lifestyle for many. It does not, you know, it may be for you, it may not, but you just have to understand the odds that you're dealing with, you have to be be conscious of that so that you manage your own expectation uh, that most people who make a YouTube channel fail, uh, and we all fail, but you know they don't continue to go on and succeed. Most people who live out of their van or car, they do it for a short period of time, then they stop. Um, there's nothing wrong with that either. Life is about having experiences, growing, uh, living. Uh, you know, you can just stay in your normal routine and never do anything and, you know, you'd be fine maybe, but you'd never live. So, there's no one answer, but I am making this video eight months later to document my thoughts as I start to gain subscribers and gain views. Views on your channel is the main thing. Uh, subscribers, you know, you pretty much, if you upload on a consistent basis and you have some decent content, that'll just grow and get an algorithm. But views per video is the main metric that YouTube uh, rewards on and that is useful to grow your channel. Um, and the only way to get that is to upload consistently, consistently, and uh, have something that people want to hear or see and get a little bit lucky. It's a combination of all those factors. And so I'm just sharing um, where things are at now. Um, will I continue at this time? I will. Uh, just like everything in life, obviously I always reevaluate, but at this time, um, I know for me it's part of my purpose, passion, and gift. I've always been like that, to share and to inspire and to encourage. I used my space for inspirational uh, quotes and, and a platform to share inspirational stuff. I used Facebook for that. I used Instagram for that. So every social media I had, I always used as a platform to share myself. This is me. And to share motivation for myself first and then for anyone else that can get blessed by it. And so just want to share my thoughts on a YouTube channel, on my journey, on just the overview on how I see it. And again, that it can be very mentally painful to have one. And I want you to take care of yourself. Always remember, you have to take care of yourself mentally. Uh, and I don't want you to do things that are just gonna hurt you. I do think it can be good to have a journal and to self-express. But again, you're gonna open yourself up to some criticism from others and from yourself. So just be mindful that when you start to use your gift and share your life, you have to really be in a space where you're taking care of yourself. Because if you're not, you're gonna go into overload and you're gonna shut down. Okay, take care of yourself first and then let then let your overflow blessing inspire others.